Hello everyone. Studying MBBS is a dream of many, but very few can give the dedication and discipline which is required to become a doctor. Hi, this is Mitali, and today we have a very special guest who recently completed MBBS from the most medical university that is Angeles University Foundation Philippines. And he, and he also cleared MCI in the very first attempt. He has proved that if you have passion and dedication, you can definitely crack through the toughest of exams. So here, I welcome Dr. Arbaz Divan. Hello, Dr. Arbaz. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for the introduction. Great. Uh, so first of all, I would like to congratulate you on completing your MBBS. And I'm sure you must be feeling quite thrilled about it. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Thank you again. So I'm feeling really grateful, ma'am, to have achieved this dream of me and my parents. And as uh, as you know that my father is also a doctor, so you know it was really a family dream to be a doctor, and it was uh, fulfilled finally. So, um, so tell me, how are you feeling about your achievement uh, since finally you've become a doctor and made your parents proud? So I'm sure there must be different kind of vibes around. Yes, yes, ma'am. There was like uh, this different feeling of happiness, you know, when you have achieved something like, and uh, finishing MBBS is not a small feat. So, you know, the, the feeling was different and everyone around me was really happy to, you know, finally have achieved this dream. So, uh, please tell us that uh, what are you currently doing and what are your future plans? Uh, so, uh, when I came back, I gave the FMG exam and I cleared it. I started working at a private hospital here in Ahmedabad itself. Mm -hmm. um, so, I worked there for around three months as a medical officer. Mm -hmm. Then, as soon as the date for NEET was declared, I quit the job and I started preparing for NEET. Okay, so are you preparing for your uh, post-graduation? Yes, ma'am, that's correct. Okay, so uh, in which particular segment do you want to go in your post-graduation? Uh, right now, I'm interested in medicine, you know, uh, general medicine, then I'll move uh, forward right. to cardiology. Uh, we would like to ask you that what role your uh, medical university played in nurturing you as a doctor? Uh, the university had a huge role, ma'am, like uh, for preparing you as a doctor and as a person itself in this field of work. So the university will really push you to your limits and they will not compromise in anything. Starting from the exams and the results, they won't compromise in any any of the things. So they will really push you to do the best and become the best person. And uh, what was the best part of studying in uh, Angels University Foundation? What I really like the most is the environment at the university itself and uh, at the hostels. The living facilities were, I think, the best part of the um, university. You will really feel as if you are home and not living in some other country. Like first three years, we have classroom teaching, right? So right from the beginning, they will um, make your base so clear that as soon as you enter the clerkship part, the internship part, you really have the needed knowledge to you know see patients and assess them and give them the proper treatment. So, and even for the exam part, the, the, the thing that I've noticed from other universities is that I've seen the papers from other universities, the questions. So the questions in AUF exams are really like the standardized pattern. And once you get to clear those questions, like you know how to solve them, I think you can pretty much clear every exam, whether it be USMLE or NEET. Right, so it, I think it really helped you to prepare for your MCI as well, right? Yes, yes ma'am. As, uh, as you know that we only had one month of preparation, like since we came back and between FMG. So we, we thought like, okay, we'll just give it as a try. But we had that so much uh, base knowledge from our college days that we got to clear it in first. So, what message would you like to give to Indian students who want to pursue MBBS? Um, the advice that I would give is if you get admission in Indian universities, it's okay. But if you want to pursue foreign education for MBBS, don't settle for Russia or China. Because I've seen students in FMG exams, like there are students from China or Russia that are giving the uh, exam for three times or five times, but they are still not able to clear it. 
but the difference from philippine students is that they get to clear it in first attempt so i would suggest like keep philippines as your first choice and among philippines also auf as your top choice why do you think a student should take support from an mbbs consultancy to study mbbs abroad you cannot go directly to the universities right you might you might not be able to get the necessary documents or your process might get stuck anywhere from getting the visa or getting admission in the university so and you cannot run everywhere right so you need a middle person to do the things for you and not get stuck anywhere that did it help you throughout your five five and a half years of education or it was just an initial no 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 throughout like since the day i started taking the services to the day i finished my course they were with me together so my next question and the last question for mm, today come on. how was your experience with mentors team in helping you to become a doctor as you are today i'm very thankful ma'am and lucky to have found mentor education as uh, as i chose that uh, option because before mentor i had visited like several agencies and there was the i didn't feel quite that trust level that i felt with mentor you know so i trusted mentor and you know it was the best decision that i took so starting from the day um, i met them for the first time till the day i graduated they were like they were with me whatever you need you can text them and they will try their best to help or solve the situation even during the last uh, day like there are some documents that you have to process before coming to india till that time mr somesh was able to help us so i'm really thankful <laughs> that's great so um so dr arbaz that was a wonderful conversation with you Thank and you. Uh, we all wish you all the very best for your future and i really hope i personally hope that you uh, fulfill all your uh, dreams whatever goals you have in future uh, regarding you. medicine and we will see you as a shining doctor in future <laughs> thank you thank you so much ma'am have a great day ma'am thank you